Hello, this is Gail, the Legacy Lady, and you are on the Legacy Recorder YouTube channel. I'm still remembering where my eyeballs go. I've got this new standing desk, and I'm like, ah, I don't know what to do anymore. Um, but today, I'm really excited to talk to you. We're going to talk about dating, love, and storytelling. Um, so this particular format of the YouTube videos are going to run through a little bit of Gail's personal story. Um, then we're going to cover things to read, watch, or listen to. I will cover a resource to check out. This particular one happens to be free uh, ish. And then there, I'm also going to include a storytelling activity that I'm loving, which, uh, spoiler alert, uh, has to do with um, dating and, you know, uh, when we meet people and how we feel about those things. So, uh, my, <laughs> I guess I said I was going to do this. Um, but the, the thing to know about, uh, our love stories and our dating stories is that they, uh, depending on, <laughs> depending on circumstances, those types of stories tend to elicit uh, really strong emotions, whether they're uh, really positive strong emotions, really negative strong emotions. Sometimes they can be really sad. So if you're having these conversations with, uh, with care staff or with residents or with families, just bear that in mind and be mindful of how, what their body language is, if they are uh, just be really aware of your storyteller. So I go over this a lot in some other uh, videos and things, and it's covered in the course, but just know that paying attention to visual cues and even sound cues, uh, whether the person's tone of voice drops or if it goes up or if they're starting to sound angry or they're excited, that those are things to lean into and to keep pursuing. And if they feel like they're starting to shrink away from you or their voice is getting quieter, it might be a sign that they're not comfortable talking about this anymore. And that's a great opportunity to check in with them and say, hey, are you okay still talking about this? Should we switch? Or if you know that you just need to switch, just redirect and make the switch. So with that, I want to talk about love stories uh, and dating. Um, but that's a really great way to hear about uh, people they love and people they have loved, people that maybe died that they loved, and that people don't they don't get to talk about them anymore. So this is a really great way to open those things up for them and really give them a facilitate a safe space to talk about the people they love and also for you to be able to share what the people you love and offer up um, your stories so <laughs> offering up my stories um, being uh, leading by example <laughs> um, I have had a the beautiful and wonderful honor to um, be with my spouse for I think 17 17 years um, there are, I've done a few videos on how we met or our meet cute as it were. Um, but there, we, it, the way we met was pretty, uh, statistically speaking, it was, uh, it was a long shot, um, to say the least. So we met at a high adventure Boy Scout base in New Mexico, uh, in the back country. And we didn't just meet there. Like we met, we were both in a leadership meeting. On the first day of camp that summer, um, and so the like, there's the all of the layers and all of the filters for us to like get to that point where we were in this leadership meeting with just I don't know, there might have been 15 kids, maybe, um, and we were in there together. Um, and the rest, I guess, as you say, is history. Um, we've been together for. 17, 17 years, I think. Um, our oldest kid just turned. Oh, so we always speak together for 18 years because the oldest kid just turned 17. Um, gosh, I need to do the math. So <laughs> anyhow, um, there's, I'm not going to spend the whole time talking about me. Um, there's lots of other videos that I've covered on um, this story um, over the years, and I'd love for you to go watch them uh, should you choose to. I will try to find a link and include that in the description, um, but we'll, you know, we'll see. So I want to jump into things to read, listen to, or watch. And the first one is the read. So I am going to do a cute little screen share. Um, so the reading is um, 10 ways <laughs> to write about your worst date ever. Um, this is a really super short article. Um, there's a really pretty picture um, of like the questions, but I've also included um, there's actual text prompts. You can copy paste those and use those. Um, feel free to do that. And the questions run through using the legacy storytelling method. Um, so it's a have you ever, the when, um, and the like goes through all of the who, what, why, when, and where, um, and then the other pieces of the legacy storytelling method. If you are listening to this video or uh, wherever you're listening to this and you're like, what the heck is the 
legacy storytelling method, there will be a link to that explanation video as well. I'm not going to explain that here. So um, that is your thing to read. And the thing to watch um, is, uh, spoiler, <laughs> um, a 52 weeks of storytelling video on the worst, your worst date ever. So it basically takes, um, takes these prompts and goes through and walks through a really great, um, uh, explanation so you can see the chapters and everything else um my hair is a lot longer in these videos woohoo <laughs> um so this is a super fun one to do um this can be done as a activity with residents with family members um with your significant other um if you're like we don't know what to talk about at dinner tonight be like hey honey what's your worst date ever um and or your friends it's a great i think it's a really great icebreaker honestly um and then our listen to today is roses are red violets are blue i love flowers do you which is super cute right once upon a time i was going to write hallmark cards i was going to write hallmark greetings in cards until i figured out um it sounded like a really good way to go when i was a kid um but obviously i didn't do that now I write lots of other things um so that is our listen to it's a great little podcast um and i'm sure i've got there's probably an accompanying um, article with that somewhere as well. So our resource to check out for today is focusing on, um, it's what is a legacy project. So this article works through what a legacy project is as defined by me <laughs> um, and goes through um, things like memory collections. I talk about what legacy projects can look like in long-term care. I give an example. Um, the 52 weeks of storytelling uh, video series, which the watch video is from, um, I talk about that and what things look like in physical form. I've also included um, an Airtable embed of the different, some different platforms that can be used to create legacy projects. Now, when I say legacy project, it doesn't mean that you are paying me anything um, to do this. You can, that would be awesome. Um, but mostly I just, I enjoy having uh, giving people the opportunity to tell more stories, to work together, and to foster intergenerational storytelling, restore human dignity. And for me, I believe that all happens through um, our ability to communicate with each other uh, and to share our stories. So that is why all of these resources, for the most part, are free. Um, if you want more specific help or help from me, there are paid options for that. But for the most part, you can get everything you need off of the website or the YouTube channel or the podcast. Um, I've tried to make sure that all of our resources are in written form, audio form, and video form so that no matter how you learn, you have access. So with that, um, so that is our resource. Um, it's a really great thing to have in your back pocket um, for residents. Um, if you don't have a lot of time for pre-work or you don't can't have, um, don't have access to like extensive materials or you don't have enough staff. This 52 weeks of storytelling video series is fantastic for that. Um, it's a literally 52 weeks of programming, um, complete with like journal pages, which are inexpensive. Um, and you can get them delivered via email, blah, blah, blah. So just keep those things in mind. Um, as far as uh, a legacy project can be something that can be slid into what you do. Um, pretty easily. So let's see. Next. Next. I know what's next. Um, in the work, so the things to know, let's go back to the legacy project for a second before I switch. Um, the, the biggest thing that I've seen is that you, when legacy projects happen inside care facilities or with families um, and people take the time to create space to have these storytelling conversations. It improves the quality of life for residents. It improves quality of life for staff, uh, as well as it like changes the work environment. It improves the culture of the entire facility, if this happens in a facility. And it changes the conversations between staff and residents and also between the residents themselves. So I've seen residents find new friends that they would not have found otherwise because I asked questions and because I facilitated these conversations. And not just myself, but volunteers I've taught over the years, students I've worked with, staff I've worked with. I know that globally people are using this storytelling method to foster new conversations and I know that they're deepening relationships. So I encourage you to check out some of the options um, and 
get dig in <laughs> if you have questions um please reach out let me know i'm happy to have a conversation about it so the last thing i want to share with you today is the um storytelling activity which will be in the bottom as well um so this is a little going back to my meet cute moment um is talking about uh, asking questions of your storytellers about their meet cute moments. Um, a meet cute moment, if you aren't sure, um, is a movie or writing term that refers to the first time two characters meet. Um, and usually they're the two people who end up together, um, or the people who end up together at the end. And um, so I, basically in the, uh, in the description of wherever you're listening or watching this, um, there'll be uh, questions. So some of the questions are, how did you meet your first person? Um, what were you doing when you met them? How did you feel? Was it love at first sight? Um, what's the best how you met story you've ever heard, whether it's yours or someone else's? And then what's your favorite movie romance? So these questions are really great ways to elicit some of those uh, fun, strong memories, strong feelings, and see where they lead. So with that, I hope you have an incredibly wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I can't wait to see you on the next one. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that. I'll be here. Um, hit the bell for notifications if you'd like those. And there is a an email list, a whole world. You, you know the drill. So <laughs> if you aren't sure, go watch some of the other videos. Um, I, I'm, I'm done this time. So I hope you have an incredibly wonderful day. And until I see you again, happy writing.